Well, joining us now is Kansas Highway Patrol Superintendent Herman Jones. Good morning. Good morning, Tiffany. Thanks for being here. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, I wanted to start with the <clears throat> Click It or Ticket campaign that's ongoing right now. So tell us about this. You know, really what it is about awareness and, and it's not necessarily for the enforcement, but really more awareness. We want to save lives and if you simply put your tick, uh, wear your seatbelt when you're driving and operating a vehicle right there, you're more apt to, to uh, arrive safely. Sure. <clears throat> and what are the fines that are, um, if somebody were to get pulled over for not wearing their seatbelts? I believe it's like $30, okay. uh, those type of things right there. Now, uh, what we ought to understand is obviously it is a fine, but our main focus is for individuals to wear their seatbelt. So. Sure. Okay. And what are the benefits of wearing a seatbelt? You know, uh, one is it, it keeps you in control. For every once in a while, uh, let's say if it's uh, icy conditions or so and the vehicle uh, is out of control or so, the seatbelt keeps the individual in the seat and in control of that right there. But also, uh, when we're talking about a crash or so, the vehicle's motion right there is moving. It comes to abrupt stop. The individual stays safe in the, seat, in the vehicle. But it is about reducing injuries, if not reducing uh, death on the highways. Okay, switching gears now, um, how are you guys preparing for driverless semis? Yeah, driverless semis hitting yeah. the road at, for, uh, in Kansas. You know, the, the world has changed as we understand. Yeah. I'm here in the, in, the, in the studio and I see robotics in here, so it's, it's just apparent that it's gonna happen eventually. So what we're, what we're trying to do, obviously, is about safety. Uh, the state has made a, a provision that we're gonna allow automated driving uh, systems right there. But for right now, it still will have a driver in the vehicle to operate okay. that. But the vehicle's gonna have to operate just like you and I are operating a uh, vehicle there. If it was something on the side of the road or something in front of there, it has to be able to avoid that, pull to the shoulder in case there's a, car, a vehicle collision or fire and those type of things right there. Uh, the uh, manufacturer, the owner, has to have this registered as well and okay. be able to communicate with law enforcement if something were to happen as well. Okay. Um, and now we've had a few reported motorcycle crashes in the area recently. So yeah. as we are, we're in warmer mm -hmm. weather, what do you recommend for drivers? You know, well, one, for, um, for drivers in cars, trucks, and those types, also understand that a motorcycle is a, uh, a user of the highway. They have just the same rights as anyone else. But... Also, they're less of, uh, of a vehicle there, so you have to be more attention, uh, pay attention to those type of things right there. So um, as you get into warm weather, <coughs> excuse me, be aware that there's vehicles out there, motorcycles, uh, for motors, motorcycle, wear your helmet, be safe, reduce those speeds. Okay, and now one last question, we're running out of time. Um, those veterans and those veteran supporters that I mentioned just a couple minutes ago, right. are there any um, enforcement or any um, anything going on to kind of help them get through Kansas? You know, mo most of the time they're they're very safe drivers and they're operating in a, in a situation right there. A lot of times if we, if, if we can, if we operate in those type of things like on the turnpike, we're monitoring the other traffic. Uh, okay. we, we try and allow them to stay in one lane to let the others pass by if they're, if they're uh, so they can move by safely. Okay, that is all the time we have. Superintendent Herman Jones, thank you for joining us this thank morning. You. Appreciate it.